check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. How to grip a racket correctly is one of the most important things you need to learn before you start playing badminton. A good grip on badminton rackets can reduce injuries, increase the range of shots and produces more efficient hits. There are many names given for grips. In this video, I will explain the grips base on BWF's coaching manual. Basically there are four types of grip. The first one is the basic grip or the V-grip. The basic grip is used to play forehand strokes where the shuttle is level with the player, on both the forehand and backhand sides. These are some of the strokes that uses this grip. Let me show you one way to get the grip right. Hold the racket head in your hand, like you are shaking hand, then, slide your hand down the racket, and wrap your hand around the handle. It will look like as if you are shaking a person's hand. Make sure not to grip too tight. If you look at this angle, you can see your thumb and your index finger create a V-shape and the bottom of the V is almost directly over the side of the racket. The position of the bottom of the V is important and is shown here. Make sure you hold the racket in such a way that it creates a V shape, and not a U shape. If you look at it from the side, you can notice there are small gaps between the fingers. The index finger should be wrapped around the handle. It is important that it is not pointing straight. This is one of the common error people make. The second grip is the thumb grip. The thumb grip is used to play basic backhand strokes in front of the body. Examples include net shots, net lifts, net kills, backhand serves and backhand drives, when struck in front of the body. These are some of the strokes that uses this grip. The thumb is placed at the back of the racket handle, with a slight gap between the hand and the racket handle. This is the thumb position for a thumb grip. Next is the corner grip. The corner grip is an alternative used for backhand strokes when the shuttle is level with or slightly behind the player. These strokes include backhand drives and blocks, when the shuttle is at the side of the body, backhand clears, backhand drop shots and backhand smashes. These are some of the strokes that uses this grip.
The corner grip is almost similar to the basic grip. But the index finger is lowered, and the thumb pressing at the corner edge of the racket. This is the thumb position for the corner grip. And the last grip, is the panhandle grip. It is called a panhandle grip, because you hold the racket just like you hold a panhandle. The panhandle grip is used for, backhand strokes when the shuttle is well behind the player, and also, forehand strokes when the shuttle is well in front of the player. These are some of the strokes that uses this grip. This is how a panhandle grip looks like. This is the position of the bottom of V-shape, where thumb and finger meet. So there you go. All four grips you need to know to play badminton. Of course you need to practice and be comfortable with all of them. You should also practice regularly to make sure you can change grips fast when needed. The most important thing is, to use the right grip for the right stroke. That's it for now, stay fit, and enjoy your badminton. See you in next video.